It has been seen. I've seen it more times than I can count. When we started working on Catalyst, we had a few key ideas that we were using to guide development. We knew we wanted to do a trans woman. We knew we had a certain design. So we started talking about the ferrofluid concept. And then as we were working and working, one of the designers, Sam Kalman, came to us and said, what about a techno witch? That was something that just struck me as like, I have to be working on this character because that's the coolest thing ever. When I started designing, I wanted her to have unabashed gothiness. If it doesn't feel like Techno Witch, it's probably not Catalyst. So everything was built upon, I'd say, that foundation. And then trying out a bunch of ideas until something feels like that's the character. Working with Glad, they gave us a lot of fantastic feedback about how we can improve her design and make her feel more authentic. Respawn reached out to us back in February of this year. We provide LGBTQ media content expertise. We do trainings covering storytelling tropes. It's very interesting just to go out there and talk to game developers and open their eyes to certain issues that they might not have ever thought about. From there, we stretch out to other teams and we start looking at, okay, how do we realize this vision in other parts or like, the way they move, the way their abilities look, the way they sound. We spent years building this place, and you've ruined it. I can't explain. I have no interest in your excuses. It's so much more impactful when you're telling open and honest and authentic stories where you have nuanced and three-dimensional characters. I want this to be a character that people find fascinating. I want it to be someone that people pick and want to play, not just because the character is meta that season. It's a very collaborative process. Usually how a character starts is we try and come up with either a kit or different abilities, prototype them, see how they feel, is it fun, and the character kind of builds out from there. Our effects team definitely had some interesting challenges to overcome with visualizing the ferrofluid. Like, it's real. It's iron suspended in a liquid, and it looks black. It's honestly the most metal thing you've ever seen. Catalyst is designed to make players feel like they're helping their team in a very tangible way. When she's able to block off doors to keep them safe, when she's able to use the wall to get a quick revive in, I think that's when she shines, and that's when I've had the most fun. When we're working on a character, they obviously have to feel larger than life, but then to be able to identify with that person, not just the costume they wear, you have to understand who they are and what they've been through. You know, when I go into the booth, I'm connecting with a story that means something to me personally. And you know, when people play it, when people watch it, 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 it connects on a personal level. It's very, very important that representation not only exists, but that it be authentic and accurate and respectful to our community. Respawn has a great culture of feedback and great ideas, I think, can come from anywhere. Sears another great example of this. When the writers were working on his bio, they reached out to Black Respawn employees multiple times throughout the process, and it was something I really appreciated. There's nothing like seeing yourself there in some way, especially if that hadn't happened to you in the past. It's palpable. You feel it when that authenticity is there. I just love the opportunities that the world of Apex presents. I think there's a lot of just more cool characters we can create and that we are currently working on. Hundreds of people created Catalyst and they all gave it their all. And that was so amazing. And I'm so lucky to get to work with this team. You guys all nailed it. I am looking forward to her getting into the hands of our players. And I'm really excited to see what players do with her. This wasn't fate. This was the future you made.